Everybody, welcome back. I'm on a losing streak in Slay the Spire. Galaxy Brain, what else is new? Nah, nah, nah. It's not like that. We've been trying. We've been having good runs, but high-level ascension running into high-level enemies. Give me a random boss relic. Ah! Um, well... Of course, this would be the one time we don't have a shop early on. Or a Calcum Singing Bowl Bird-Faced Urn. It's a tough one. Especially, I mean, doubt with the extra weakness here is really bad. Hey, Ruka, you are my son. You need to go to this side of the desk so that I can see what's happening on the bottom of the screen. Can't kill you, thanks to weakness, so instead, uh, I'm gonna hit you, oh, I'm gonna hit you once, was what I was thinking. That's what I was gonna say, is I'll hit you once. Uh, uh, hit me once, uh, shame on, uh, won't get fooled again. Our number one priority early on here is we have to remove these curses. That's a great start. We have two regrets. We'll get rid of one of those. I think that probably is a little... It depends, to be honest. But I think it's a little bit worse than the uh, the weakness. But I, I may come to regret that decision. Of course, when we get two curses in hand, that's when things are at their like, absolute worst. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get you. Not early, at least. turn basically plays itself. Please, three attacks. They did it. The madman took us there. We are going to skip for plus two maximum HP. We have to fight an elite. That's the dangerous part here. I will lose 50 gold. My HP scares me a great deal. I will not look for a relic. I will fight you with the benefit of an added power. Thank you for the heal. I guess we shouldn't, like, just turn up our noses at, uh, you know, bird-faced urn. We don't really have a power archetype that we like to run. Thank you, Aura Calcum, for the free block against this nerd. I love it. Well worth it here, but, uh, don't play anything else. We know we're gonna get hit here. Just to survive would be merciful. He should be dead next turn. We need to hit him, like, two times, technically. Just the fact that we're alive is amazing. Ginger, it means we don't have to remove that other curse immediately. We definitely want a discard engine right off the bat so we can get rid of the remaining curses in our deck. Um, we should, should go to the shop. There's a lot of combat stemming from that. But it is what it is, right? We have, that was our best play there, as much as it pains me to say so. Gotta hit you for 11. Certainly not gonna happen. No need to even play it. No need to even play it. Only thing we would do is maybe get like a discard, uh, sorry, a dex potion, and then we're slightly more likely to make something happen, but not really. We're slightly, we're, we're gonna take less damage, but not, not by enough to make taking the potion worthwhile. Um, I do think a dagger spray it tends to be very tempting, so we have something to hit multiple enemies. Also very good on the second floor, although we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. Start with a skill in your hand. Give me that prepared, which is also one of our early upgrade targets. Please remove the regrets. And we can't take anything else, which is fine. We probably, almost certainly, will not be able to afford... Uh, to remove our last curse, but just to get out of this floor Is a blessing in and of itself. I know I've said that like five times here But I really truly thought we were dead when we got calling bell as our relic and it took us like the whole floor <laughs> To make up for it. it We pretty much our entire reason for existence on this floor was getting that card out of our deck Is there anything we want here? Wraith form would probably be a, a relatively strong pickup, but otherwise, I mean, we don't want a second dagger spray. Outmaneuver is at least tempting, but 
I would rather not. I I'm just gonna go for the straight upgrade. Because I'm scared. Is that what you want to hear? I think we take our chance on a smith. Just like I did for the NLSS way back in the day. My thinking is, I do think that we're weak right now. Like, I think it's going to be very tough for us to kill this guy. Don't even play it. I think it's going to be very tough for us to kill this guy. And I think he's going to remain tough throughout basically the entire fight. 82. So I can hit you once. Probably just dump that. And then it doesn't matter really, but... Our next turn is likely to be worse than this one for damage. So we definitely want to hit him and split him. Sentence that didn't feel right coming out of my mouth, to be honest with you. Um, yes, yes. I would rather take six damage and at least get a head start on hitting y'all. Um, but basically, I thought, you know what? If we die, we die. You know, we did a good thing. Not even worth playing. We've done, you know, like our darndest when it comes to getting over the fact that we started with 15 curses in our deck. Might be a little bit overkill, but you get the idea. Certainly we don't want that. We can split you and take 18 damage off the field. We don't need to defend either, though. Now, I would rather take, like, some of your damage away, I think. Even though I could hit you for more... 22 damage, so we are lethal. Uh, and we're, we're not just lethal, we're killed. Yeah, we're, we're dead. Straight up, I'm not mad about that one. I think a valiant effort was had. And I'm getting very used to starting our ascension runs, victory or otherwise, with a defeat. Let's try this again. Lose all gold, transform two cards. I think I'm willing to give it a shot. We got Flying Knee and Reflex. Uh, flying Knee, very, very, very good early, I think. And late, for that matter. Um, certainly, I'm not going to get to 24, but I'm not going to get to 16 damage either. So I think, kill. Reflex, I mean, immediately, like, we're seeing a use case for it, without a doubt. I don't know how useful it is. We usually have something we don't mind discarding. I guess, here's the thing. It turns Survivor into a gain 8 block and draw a card card. That's pretty good. And so, right off the bat, I'm loving this run. Don't get it twisted. I'm loving it compared to our last run. We'll take Footwork. Agnostically a good card. We want to take good cards early on. I'm not going to remove anything yet. 7 HP may or may not be precious. This time I will remove. Uh, and we'll take out probably a defend. Our deck is thinner than usual. Well, no, it's not. But I still I didn't feel right getting rid of another strike. Footwork is going to make our defense better regardless, so. Realistically, we might have you. We would need Flying Knee, probably. Pretty bad draw, but we only take two damage. Much, much, much better than last time. Okay, just stay steady. You got something decent going on here. I do think a well-laid plans is a, a very takeable card. I'm not going to pay 35 gold to heal for nine, but I did think about it. Maybe for an embarrassingly long time. I'm going to make well-laid plans our keep for now. Or, sorry, our smith, I should say. Against this guy, uh, he's real bad. Realistically, I think you probably go f next turn. Um, realistically, I think you probably go next turn. Because, I mean, this turn doesn't do anything for us. We'll keep these two. We did lose our energy bonus. But at least we got to play all of our powers. Um... Well, 
Well, I'll wake him up. We're pretty much guaranteed to draw a neutralize. I think we want to do this because we have four energy. We're not pretty much guaranteed to draw neutralize. We were guaranteed to draw neutralize. Um, as tempting as it is to take no damage, obviously you want to, you know, take one but hit him. The hits are worth more. That's beautiful. Now, we don't really want to keep our defense. But I don't think there's any good reason not to keep them. We'll just keep them again. We'll act like we got a brand new hand with our other five cards. Okay. So this is working way better than you would expect right off the bat. Or maybe you would expect it to be as good as this. In which case, you're better at this game than I am by a probably a pretty severe magnitude. But... If you had showed me this deck list, I would say, Dude, buddy, you're screwed. It turns out you should turn to me and say, buddy, you're dumb. Because we got something going. So if I can keep Survivor and Reflex, that I was going to say, we're again, our deck is so thin, we pretty much know what we're going to draw. This gives us a great chance to get another attack if we don't draw enough to begin with. Uh, but we did. We did. That was a great fight. Preserved Insect, very good for the future. Given the amount of defense we're able to put up, I do look at Noxious Fumes and I say that's a huge edge. And I want that to amp up as quickly as possible. Bottled Lightning. <laughs> what do you want to put in your starting hand? What do you think, guys? It's a tough one. Um, the only other case I can see would be that... Uh, it would have been funny, at the very least, to put uh, Reflex in there. And then if we get, like, Gambling Chip, we basically get a, a free cycle. But we get a free cycle anyway. I guess it would give us two draw, though. Definitely keep these two. So I do want to fight the other Elite. I, I mean, we were on a path with one Elite. So I thought that this was the right play. Yes, yes, yes. Love it. Keep this for next turn when you can do more damage. He should be dead regardless. He won't die here, so don't be dumb. I was wrong. Very strange. Not strange that I'm wrong. That's pretty much par for the course, but... Strange that we drew the very same card we just discarded, but... You know, we just... Basically, we wait for his buff turn, which is what he's doing right here, and if we can't kill him, which we can't... Yet, we try to do this, and uh, never mind, he's actually dead. I am incorrect. Noxious, by the way. Now, are we going discard meta? I, I can't say that we should. I also don't think backstab is necessary here, and you will almost never hear me say that. Upgrade or obtain a special relic. I could bet on one of these being a shop, but I don't think I'm willing to. Um, Noxious, such an important opportunity for us, especially if we get it early here. No such luck. Um, but we'll do footwork. Survivor, please draw Noxious. You know, most of the time it would be ridiculous to even ask. In this situation, it's not because our deck is, again, so thin that there's a reasonable chance we draw a turn one, especially with Ring of the Snake. All right, so this turn's going to suck, but that's why we didn't do any of the HP-related stuff that could have hurt us, like taking the Pain Curse or, you know... Etc. Etc. Um, I'm gonna let Noxious mill you, and basically, I'm gonna hold this strike for later. Not mill you, kill you, really. Um, Noxious, so important. I didn't really finish my train of thought. So important because it allows us to get some cumulative damage done. Whereas right now, like, we're actually doing so well. Way better than I would have expected. However, there's a problem. And the problem is, you know, eventually our strikes are just not going to kill an enemy that buffs themselves. Well laid plan so good at, like, guaranteeing us value as well. But what's the solution to the problem that we have just prognosticated? 
get that poison out ASAP, you know? They start taking 10% of their HP per turn pretty soon. We don't need a second well laid plans, that's overkill. None of that was very useful. Okay, this is a pretty bad start. How much are you doing? 18 damage? You know, we, we have not played a power yet. I will play this. Who's our boss? Yeah, I will play this. We're still not going to kill you. But I, I will go to 18 block despite the debuff. No, it's a slime. Okay. And this is the thanks I get. We're going to have to rest before the boss fight, even, you know, knowing what boss it is. The The problem is that the boss that we're facing... Um, we should have done this differently. The boss that we're facing... Um, sadly... We have to live for a long time, ideally. In order to have Noxious do as much damage as we'll need it to do to get the kill. You're not gonna die. Congratulations, my friend. You will live to steal my money. You're very lucky. So I think that a little bit of extra HP is pretty important here. The chance to add two cards. I, I will always look to a backflip as a good opportunity. I am a fool, but Caltrops is awesome. Learn from my mistake. We should have taken Piercing Whale. Could have saved us a whole turn, like his bad turn. We'd have to draw it on the right turn, but... Caltrops is still really good here. So we want to play Footwork, Caltrops, Well-Laid Plans. You might as well hit him, and we get to keep... We should have kept neutralized. It would have been much better. But, you know, I'm still getting used to this whole, like, planning ahead sort of thing we got going on. We're unlikely to draw it, but let's at least try to get Noxious out there. I think getting that out there one turn early is worth something. We're going to take 11 damage, and he's going to take 15, I think. Relatively strong start. All right, we're drawing our cards. This whole run, as of this point, is about surviving the turn where he gets around. To the point, and this might seem ridiculous, where I'm going to hold neutralize, maybe for six turns. We probably should play it once, maybe on a turn where it's a little bit more meaningful. Like, playing it right now, we don't have to get rid of the burn. We take no damage. But the next time we draw Neutralize, unless it's extremely soon, I think we hold on to it. Sincerely. Okay, we can... Because it was so fast, we can definitely give him one more turn to make it happen. I think this run has a very high skill floor, but if we play our cards right, who freaking knows? Well, we got 25 block. That seems to be enough. Not that we needed to play any of that. All right. Now we absolutely hold neutralize. We're destined to draw it. I love when that works. Um, one of those is good enough. Hya, hya. And my run is coming together. If there's anything I've been happy with over our recent losses, and I mean, there's been a lot of stuff to be disappointed by, but if there's been anything I've been happy with, it's the fact that I keep coming up with these like archetypes on the fly, and even if they don't get the win, which is very rare at this stage to get the win, um, they do do what they're supposed to do, and largely they tend to be successful Despite me kind of coming up with them off the top of the dome piece. He's dead. We actually got through this fight very, very easily. Okay. I mean, you can hit me if you'd like, but you will die to poison as well. So I do think we got a, we got a good thing going here. Could be better, but that describes every deck. Grand finale, like, could almost work. But I don't buy it. 
I don't know if I buy anything here. Our deck's cheap enough. I think a bullet time is a dead card. Wraith form, maybe, but you can no longer smith at rest sites. We, we want to smith. Give me black star. Elites, I mean, there's, there's a lot of things that went in my decision-making process here. The elites are weaker. Which I think is important for us in making this happen. This is another one where it might look like we're going to hit them three times over and over, but we're really just probably going to play Noxious Fumes and then survive. 21, huh? I'll play it because I think we're still going to take more damage, but not 21, 24. It's pretty bad. Oh, that's the other thing. Caltrops also, like, extremely useful here. It's the same thing that happened on the last run. On turns where we draw our powers early, we're actually not in a bad position at all. On turns where we don't draw our powers early, you know, life is pain. Both of these guys are dead. They just don't know it yet. This guy might be dead as well. Like, getting well-laid plans early, it just makes sure that we almost always have exactly what we need. Okay, it didn't go too, too badly. Um, you know, I actually think an extra dex is totally fine. I don't think we need anything else, although you might look at a blur, but I'm skeptical. It's like turn one, you get three strength. I don't want to lose HP as the silence, so sure. Turn one, star me with some extra strength. This guy is a pain in the butt. All right, um, Caltrops is pretty big. Okay, I was trying to get the well laid plans. I know we didn't play Caltrops, so we're also taking no damage. Don't at me. We got two win conditions right now. One's Noxious and one is Caltrops, more or less. And uh, I, I'm okay with it. I am. But I'm feeling slightly torn. Dude, we're not going to take damage this turn, and that is incredible. Now, we really want to draw our defense. Helpful. You're doing 9 damage. The frailty is bad, but it is not bad enough to be concerned. Flying Knee. Flying Knee is so critical for actually punching through this dude's armor. Critical is in like, yeah, it's the only thing that does it. <laughs> Keep one of each. We're getting them there. I mean, Noxious is going to tear him down. Caltrops will help out a little bit. Looking for Survivor? Hey, yeah, we'll play it. Get the extra draw. There's not really much point in hitting him. Well, no, there is. Take off one armor. This guy ain't ever seen a second floor NL deck like this before. It's like, he's actually using defense? He's got two footworks and an 18 card deck? What is he doing? He's doing good things. Sneaky Strike almost works. And it's tempting to take for some power. or some, Well, some offense to be more specific, but I'm skeptical. Um, I think Catalyst... Upgraded becomes a, a good win condition for us. I do think, as ridiculous as it might seem, and maybe it doesn't seem ridiculous, I think another Caltrops does incredible work for us. We remove the basic strike as well. We add a card, we take one away at this point. So, we have many cards, I would think, that are good upgrade targets. One Caltrops being upgraded, a Catalyst being upgraded. Um... For now, I'm going to rest. We've made up for the... I hope, at least. We've made up for our cards not being perfect. 
with them being, well, in duplicate, really. Keep in mind, we also get two, no, 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 no. We get two relics instead of one from this elite. From all elites, I should say. All right. It's a very bad turn. Like, a, like an extremely bad turn. You need footwork. You need some block. You are gonna, I mean, I know you're like, maybe get that Caltrops out there. I think you need Noxious to kill these guys. Next turn, straight, I'm not, Caltrops is good, don't get me wrong. But I think we need Defend Flying Knee. Defend to preserve our HP, Flying Knee, extra energy, but also to do some damage in the process. So backflip is better than a basic defend. You're doing 29 damage. Ooh. I think I hit you to try to kill you faster, and we get extra energy next turn. But this this basically sucks really badly right now. We're only taking six. It's not that bad, but it's certainly not as good as I thought it would be. I am amazed. We're only going to take another 7 damage, but this has got to happen real quick. One of them is definitely dead already. I did look at this and I thought we were dead. Instead, we're taking no damage. <laughs> but our HP is still terrible. Alright, this did not go well. Learn as best as you can at least. The wounds really cause us a problem in a thin deck. We got the boot. Oddly smooth stone. One extra dex is fine. I think, you know, I'm not in a position to be making enemies right now by getting rid of that fairy in a bottle, so... We will rest and we will uh, we'll really focus on getting our HP up before the boss fight. Sundial is at least something. Uh, cultist, we'd really like him to go first. This is a strong start. Footwork means you take one damage. You certainly get Noxious out there. Noxious, again, being essentially our win condition. And I, I did add a card. I'm not sure if you guys saw. I added well, uh, not well eight plants. I added escape plan. I think that card is good. <laughs> it turns itself into another card or three block, which seems very strong to me. 22 damage. Could certainly be better, but check it out. Um, we got real problems. Namely, this guy's not dead yet. And we've got a lot of dazes in this deck. I have to kill you. We're taking seven. Could be better, could be worse. We play a lot of defense, so this guy, he's a, a bit of a nightmare. But I think you just got to accept, you know, like, sometimes... You're just going to have to deal with the fact that there's going to be dazes, you know? The less we could play... Ah, that's so bad. The less we could play, the better, but... I still... I don't think we catalyst you yet. Maybe we do. Maybe you catalyst you, we kill you next turn. But I don't know, as long as we have like a defend, we're pretty reasonably likely to not take damage on a turn. All we have to do is draw like one other card. And that's why I'm kind of, I'm like holding. We missed our window for sure. Because if we'd use catalyst last turn, he might be dead now. But instead, they're dead regardless. It's just we, we could have done so without having literally any risk instead of the way we did it. I straight up think another Noxious is also good. Now we should probably just upgrade our cards instead. I'm starting to think a discard engine for extra energy. Nah, you know, I don't I don't buy it yet. This is really bad. Or 
Is it? It's not good. Wanna exhaust this curse. But I'm not sure it's bad because of the well-laid plans setup that we've got here. We are gonna take a hit this turn. There's not a whole lot we can do about that. We're gonna take one damage. That's nothing to sneeze at. But he's gonna frail us, right? It's pretty bad. And we're guaranteed to take at least four damage here. I'm not playing the Caltrops yet unless we get a bunch of extra energy because these guys, they don't do multiple hits. And we're going to have extra energy this turn, so there you go. Now they're taking six every time they touch us. We got both Noxious out here. It's, it's unlikely to me that this one will come away with a victory. I'd give it like, you know... 20% chance right now and even that it feels optimistic even though it might not be I think we do double up on you early it Means we probably kill you next turn before and eh, not because of the heal. That's right 15. It's okay Really always want it to be escape plan. Thank you 15 we'll strike again. You are definitely dead the turn after even if you do get healed, I think you're dead. So it's a great start. And I don't even need to hit you, which is even better. You know what I'm realizing as well? If possible, it would be real nice if we could make it so our deck is so thin that after we play Flying Knee, we're guaranteed or very, very likely to get it on the next turn. It's basically an energy relic. We made it through this, but it was not good, I would say. I don't think we need a third footwork. I do think a Bane has a certain temptation, knowing that we're going to have Noxious. And, well, hopefully going to have Noxious. So our deck is starting to get a little thicker. Noxious early, very good. What else do you want to play here? Probably a Footwork and then a Flying Knee, just to get out ahead of this. But, uh... We do want to remove some... Particularly some basic strikes from the deck now. Okay, we're taking like five damage. Yeah, literally five damage. Okay. Escape plan. It's so effective. <laughs> Man, I want that well-laid plans, please. ASAP. These guys are getting way too strong. Thank you. Thank you for the draw as well. Ooh, it's not good enough to keep us alive. So instead, we will be brought back with 6 HP. Now this is epic. You know, don't even run the numbers. Only a coward gets told the odds. Please, I have to defend now. <laughs> oh, y'all. Ascension is kicking my butt. It's like five losses in a row. Almost a week without a win. Now you know why I celebrate every win as if it's my first one. Because these are no joke. For now, though, we'll hit that breakthrough at some point. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See ya!